Hi, this is Tom White from Horizon Productions, and today we're going to be recreating the opening from Star Wars. So we've got the uh, the logo, the crawl, and the tilt down to the planet, which is all done inside After Effects. Okay, create a new composition and call this one Stars and Planet. Um, now the comp size, I work in uh, 16 by 9. So whatever your height is of your normal comp. Just double that height, so in my case it's 1440, and make sure it's 1 minute 20 seconds, and click OK. And then add a new layer, a new solid, and make it, it doesn't matter actually about the colour, but I'll just make it black anyway. Make sure it's comp size, and click OK. And uh, effect, noise and grain, fractal noise. Now set the contrast to 500, brightness to minus 200, and click transform, set the scale to 1. There we go, we've got stars, easy. Okay, um, then find a picture of uh, like a planet, just like that. I just type, found it in, uh, in Google. Drop it into the comp. Uh, this has got a slight back, uh, black background, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Okay, and then just drag it down to the bottom. And then widen it out, because when the, it's quite close, the crawls are always really, like, really close up and they're quite um, quite wide like planets make that a bit wider okay you create a new solid again let's try and make it white comp size okay turn it off press G to bring up the um, this cursor and make an outline around the edge of the planet Deselect it, press V, and click it, scroll through G until you get to this one and turn it into a curve. Press V again. Now you want to make the curve around the edge of the planet. So you have the white solid which is around the planet and then set the opacity to about 25. Yeah, that's good. Right, layer, new solid again. Uh, and this time make it sort of lightish blue. Select OK. Now we're going to do the same again, except this time we're not going to make an outline, we're going to make a mask around the top bit like that. And select OK. Uh, and then turn that one into a curve, and turn that one into a curve. Now you want to Curve it around the edge of the planet for the top half, and the bottom one you want to make it sort of parallel to it, so the whole thing is parallel. And then click away, and then click it, and then hit the up arrow to move it up a bit. <coughs> um, press F to bring up the feathering. Just set the feathering about 16, doesn't matter too much. Take the opacity down, uh, and then move it up again because that's just a little atmospheric glow. <clears throat> okay, so we're done for that now. Now, we'll create another new composition, uh, and we'll call this one Final Comp. Oops, that's not how you spell comp. That is. And this one, you actually you know, make sure you have to change it to your normal size. Uh, 1 minute 20 seconds, that is all good. Okay, now we'll go Project, Stars and Planet, and drag the Stars and Planet in. Hit P to bring up the position, and just head right to the top. Um, go to about just before the 1 minute 10 second mark and make a keyframe and then go to the end just before 1 minute 15 and uh, move it down to there uh, to make it a smooth movement so at the moment it goes down and then it stops but to make it a smooth movement highlight both of them right click keyframe assistant easy ease because now it will slow down like that. So now we've got our tilt and everything. I need to go to Google Images again and find the Star Wars logo or make one yourself should you want to do that. <clears throat> Hit S and take up the scale to about there. Oh yeah, actually yeah, that's a good point. Key out the black because we don't want a black background for it. Oops. Okay. Okay, uh, so yeah. Set a keyframe, 
go to just after 10 seconds and scale it right down to about there. That's good, looking good. So it's about 18. Um, now the thing with After Effects is that it renders when something's really big and you scale it, then it goes slowly, and then the smaller it gets, the quicker it scales. <clears throat> but in Star Wars, it's like a constant speed. So if you wanna, if you're not bothered, then don't worry. But if you do, so you can see it's like sort of sped up towards the end. But if you want to keep the speed constant, highlight both the keyframes again. Right click keyframe is sitting like before, but this time click exponential scale, and that creates a keyframe like every single keyframe for every frame. Now what you notice is it's like a completely constant speed, and that's just much more realistic to the film. Okay, so we've got that done. <clears throat> now the crawl, I just made the crawl here uh, from Revenge of the Sith, or you could just find a picture of a crawl. Like I found that one. Um, and then you want to create another new composition. And this time call it crawl. That's not how you spell it, there we go. Um, exactly the same settings as uh, Final Comp. Drag crawl into it. Um, <clears throat> set it to a 3D layer. If it's not up, it might be. You might have that, so just click toggle and switches mode or hit F4 if you're not on a Mac. Um, and press R and X rotation. I'm going to change to about minus 70. Minus 72, there we go. Uh, you want to make sure that it's completely the edges of the screen. Right. Go to just before 10 seconds and press A. And then this second number here is the one that controls it like a like a Star Wars crawl. So just set it right back so it's at the bottom like that and set keyframe. And then probably between five and one minute five and one minute ten seconds. Set another keyframe and just take it all the way up like that. That's looking quite good now. Um, <clears throat> one thing with Star Wars is that it uh, sort of fades out as it goes. So create an adjustment layer. Generate ramp. So we generate a ramp and bring the markers up. And that one down. Probably about there. That looks, looks quite good. Like that. End color. This is what changes it. You should have your color text if you've typed it or whatever. You should have the color text there which will change it back to the colour of your original text. So you can see it goes up like that, and uh, there we go, simple. Now just go back to Final Comp, drag in your crawl composition, and now, why, oh yeah, good point. Um, with the Star Wars logo, just before that it stops, press T, set a keyframe and take it down to zero and then just go back a bit and take it up to 100%. So now it fades out and that comes in and then it fades out at the top there as you can see and oh dear, done it again. Right, <clears throat> uh, the last little bit is just finding where it changes which is there. Press T and do exactly the same so just fade it out. Take that back up. So there we go, it just fades out and then they've got planet. So yeah, that's how to create a very quick and easy Star Wars opening all inside After Effects. I'm Tom White from Horizon Productions.